Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I will show you how to create and then run a custom slideshow in PowerPoint 2007. Before I begin, let me ask you a question. Do you carry around five or six slightly different variations of a PowerPoint file? You know, file, save as version for customer one, file, save as version for customer two. Have you ever forgotten to bring the correct version when you are presenting to customer two? Have you ever forgotten to update the latest information for each of the customer one, two, three, four, five files? Have you ever been asked, usually at the last minute, to cut your presentation in half? If so, what did you do? Race through the slides with comments like, well, if I had more time, I'd show you this. If any of these scenarios rings true for you, then you need to learn how to create and then run a custom slideshow. The advantages of custom slideshows. You're working with one file. No more file save as. You also have the advantage of being able to choose not only the slides, but the order of the slides that you wish to appear with them in. So it's really terrific if you just want to add a little variety or experiment with your normal presentation. When you change the information, remember you're working with one file. So all of the information will be correct. You change it and it's correct for each of the slideshows. And you can create as many slideshows as you want. You can even hyperlink to other custom shows. As you'll see in this lesson, this is terrific during Q&A. So all you have to do is create the versions you want. For example, a short version or a detailed slideshow version along with your normal version. Create custom shows for different divisions, for different customers, for different situations. You choose the slides, you choose the order, and then you just save and run your custom show. All right, let's come over here. Let's take a look at the slide deck come over here into the view tab of the ribbon and I want to come over here into slide sorter. So here's my slide deck. I've created a custom show for the ABC company. During the lesson I'll also show you how to create a custom show for the XYZ company. So I don't want to use each of the slides in each custom show. I'll pick and choose. Let's run the slideshow for the ABC company. So slideshow tab of the ribbon custom shows from the drop down I'm going to run the ABC company. So here's my greeting slide, here's my detailed information for the ABC company, and then at the time in the presentation when we're ready for questions and answers, can you see with that screen tip? I've created a hyperlink to an additional custom slideshow. This one will go into detail with the charts. So I created a slideshow just with the charts. And I also created it to return to the original. So now I'm ready to finish off that presentation. All right, let's hit escape. Now, what I want to do is I want to create a new custom slideshow for the XYZ properties. So we stay on slideshow, come over here into custom show, but this time what we're going to do is choose custom shows. We're going to create a new custom show called XYZ properties. and now it's time to select the slides that we want from the slide deck. So let's come down here and we'll choose the welcome slide and then let's come over here and give them the detailed slide. In addition I want to put in an industry trends slide and then I'll go into the Q&A and then the closing comments. Alright now I click OK I'm ready to run it. It's highlighted. Let's choose show. So now here I've customized it for the XYZ properties. I've also customized the bar chart for XYZ. I've included an additional slide in there for industry trends. And now here again is the Q&A. So it's the same Q&A slide I had before. If I need to, I can click and go in and have additional detail in there. So it's really very easy to use a customized show. You could use it, for example, when you are given your end user a choice. Do you want to go through and find out the new products or are you interested in the marketing strategy? Are you interested in frequently asked questions? So it's unlimited in terms of its potential. 
they're so simple to use so simple to revise so simple to update and no longer will you have to fumble you can present as a professional and i'll see you in the next lesson